and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by RiSite Studios. Visit us on the web at RiSite.com to watch more tutorials about photography, graphic design, and web design. Today I am going to start um, a discussion about tutorial uh, editing, photo editing. Photographer sent photos of your um, event or of something and he disappeared with his camera and it's all his stuff um, and now you wonder why he says he needs a week or so to edit your photos. Well, there's an excellent reason why. Um, for starters, a photographer will normally take probably 10 photos of one thing at the minimum just to get what he wants. It's a build up, it's a process. Plus, he wants to show you the best, or she, of course, the best of the best images. Um, frankly, you don't have the time or the patients to want to sit there going through every single photo. There could be hundreds of photos. And if it's a long couple days, it could be thousands of photos. So let's get into what I would remove and how I remove them from your, um, your photo shoot. First of all, simple stuff. Obviously, you don't need an image of the ground. So that wouldn't be seen. That would be out and that would be considered a number one. And I would rate that as a one. Um, you don't need a picture of the sky. That's another one. You don't need a picture of my hand. All obvious removals. Now, the things that you may not think are obvious to remove yet are, are things like, um, let's say, uh, this is not a very good photo. Um, it's a stick growing out of her head, and, um, you know, she's bright, and her face is, um, uh, she's very, very squinty, and it's just not very good, so that would go out. This would also go out. Um, bad, ex you know, it's just a bad pose. And frankly, it just looks like something's kind of sticking out, or I guess it's maybe a belt sticking out. But it's just not a very good shot. You know, I gotta be critical because this is, you want the best of the best. And something like this wouldn't work either. I mean, uh, she looks like she's falling down. And that's not her fault. You know, I'm capturing a lot of stuff. So it's not anyone's particular fault. It's just a process of working it down to the better of the shots. Now, Again, I think that that's relatively obvious that would come out. But things that you may also not realize is that even if a picture has been taken and it looks good and everything, if it's out of focus, let's find one that's out of focus. And if it's a little bit out of focus, a little soft, then it's just not something that you can use. This is actually out of focus. If we zoom in, um, you can see that even though it's a level the, uh, that you will expect, you want this to be like diamonds. And, you know, some things are, they're not going to be like diamonds if um, the, the camera went out of focus or, um, you know, there was a motion, there was some motion and, and that was, that was that made it soft. So those are the things that we would try not to show you. Uh, however, even if there's stuff that we're not really quite sure of, we're going to give them to you anyway. And what I call our seconds, which I label as number four out of five. Seconds would be something that wouldn't necessarily be that great, but you could use it for something else. It's not, you know, it's more of a silver quality out of, like, you know, gold. And, you know, it's still good, it'd still be useful for something else, but, you know, be frank, you expect gold. So, if you actually got an image like this, for instance, and let me just go back, and we're going to make this so it's unedited. Um... Too bright. Um, everything looks off. Um, can use be cropped, which I'm going to do. So, I would probably call this a second. Reason being, it's fixable. Look, I can lighten, I can darken it a lot. I can actually fill in those shadows back there by doing that as well. I can even bring away, bring out that um, blown out part on her on her blouse there. Um, I can um, raise the clarity, make it, you know, essentially more clear, and, and, and not necessarily sharper, but more clear. I can raise the, raise the, the vibrance, the color. And there's a lot of little tweaks I could do to, f to make this so it's a useful photo, and then now it's useful. Um, probably want to see more hands, stuff like that. You know, and, and that's what we can do. We can crop things. We can even make them so it's really cropped. I don't want to go nuts. I mean, I'd say about 25% of the image isn't good enough. And then you can have a better image. Okay. So, 
we all know what the star images look like. I mean, here's some star images. These are just lovely shots of, of um, you know, uh, this lovely model, um, Olga. And, you know, we had some great stuff, but not everything was 100%. So we had to work with what we had because of the simple reason that the day changes and a lot of things work out. Okay, so now you know what we select and show you. Again, we have the cream of the crop, the gold, and we'll also show you the uh, seconds. Now one thing you may be getting as a bonus sometimes is things like thirds. And these are actually um, images that we weren't were necessarily expecting to see or take, but we thought they were cool and we took them anyway. And that's stuff we'll also get, okay? Now, as soon as you, um, we upload our photos, and here is the, 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 the website that we like to use, is a smug mug, and here's the, the, the photos. Now, now that you have all these photos, um, there is a one, two, three, four, there's several on the page, <laughs> I'm not counting right now, but you're going to get, um, there's, over, there's over 74 pictures here, and you can see um, that a lot of these have been edited down and everything. Now, I know it's difficult to do this. Now, be, this is why you should be happy that we went through and deleted a lot, because there's a lot to pick from now. What a good way of doing this is actually just going through all of them. Just spend the time going through all of them. And the ones you really, really, really like, Not don't just say I like it. You can give it a thumbs up, which you'll save that. Or, even better, you could write down the number. Um, Usually, uh, there's a keyword on the bottom, and that keyword will relate to the file name. Now, or you can actually just click over here, and um, you can get the, the details here about all sorts of school stuff. But uh, at the very least, you can uh, write down the, 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 the file number from the bottom. And you know what? You make a list of the f favorites, and then maybe you go back and you look at the favorites. Because the things that you didn't like when you first saw them, like this one, isn't very good, it's too bright, um, you wouldn't write that down. So you would bypass it. You would trust your judgment the first time. Don't second guess yourself. You will regret it every single time. So that's it. And that gives you an idea of how I go through the process of editing and how you, everyone's got their own opinion of course, how you can go through the process of looking at your photos online and kind of helping decide what you want to save and what you don't want to use and then you can make a decision based on that information thanks again for watching I hope you enjoyed our video tutorial on photo editing and uh, have a nice day thank you